Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a really cool museum called the Rosicrucian Egyptian Museum in San Jose, California. Um, should be really interesting inside. And I uh, just wanted, on a side note, if you guys are enjoying my content and enjoying my channel, please subscribe to it. It will help me build my channel because I'm going to be doing this as uh, far into the future as I can imagine right now. And um, I appreciate you doing that. And hit the bell notifications. And let's go check out the Rosicrucian Museum in San Jose. It should be a lot of fun. So here is the Rosicrucian Labyrinth. It's a sign here. Let you guys read it. Let's go check it out. So the idea behind the labyrinth is um, <clears throat> it calms your mind when you walk in a s steady pace. So let's give it a shot and see how calm I get. Those are So this is um, close to the San Jose airport, so you can hear, you're going to be hearing planes flying overhead. Getting around. Kind of a long path. That's probably why it relaxes you. Quite peaceful out here. There's a statue over there. So I think eventually I'll end up in the center. I hope. <laughs> yeah, so this is the center. You got this little round circular thing, and I think he's walked around. Some churches have labyrinths in them. And that was a labyrinth. I guess these cool statues here. Some kind of bird god. And there's another one over here.
I'm not sure what the significance is of the statues. There's a sign here. It says Hornet Nest. Stay back. I don't see a hornet nest, but I think I will do what the sign says and stay back. Because hornets don't mess around. And right next to that is this granite bench. That's pretty nice. And then of course California poppies. This is the state flower. Or California. They're everywhere in spring. They just pop up all over the place. It's absolutely illegal to pick them. Here's like the back entrance to the museum. Pretty awesome. Look at those doors. Grand Temple. This is a great detail. So here's a rose garden. So I have a I have kind of a funny story. Uh, my mother used to bring me here a lot when I was a kid. And I thought it was really cool. They have mummies and all that. Um, but I was in this rose garden at some point and um, I put my nose up to a rose and a, a bee came out and stung me in the nose. So let's try not to have that repeat itself today. I'm gonna smell one. No bees. But this is their rose garden, which is part of their grounds. Beautiful roses. that one this is like a rose tree and the pink ones more pink ones. There's like a bush. Some of these have really big, 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 big blooms. And look at these. It's a big one. It smells pretty good. I didn't get stung that time either. I'm not sure if this is their official rose garden or not. I think it is, but they also have official ones. <clears throat> Pretty nice. Here's another building here, back of the building. And we're gonna go around to the side. These are called birds of paradise. And those are pretty cool flowers. Planetarium, Peace Garden, Egyptian Museum.
Number 24. I don't know what the significance is of this tree, but it's a cool tree. I guess if I have a map, I can figure it out. Another gate there. <clears throat> so this is the peace garden. Fountain's not working. Kind of a bummer. But pretty awesome. The doors here, gates. And they got these spinks here. Or You feel like you're in Egypt. I guess that's the idea, right? Look at the uh, god up there. Goddess. Pretty cool. So this is another building. All the buildings here are Egypt themed. What do they got over here? This is like a little I don't know what you call it. Let's go check it out. <clears throat> These little metal things are, huh. It's got like colored glass and it, blue and red. Interesting. This is a peace garden. There's a little sign about it. There's another area here. Got a frog pond over there. This guy's doing something. How you doing? Time to clean it up, huh? Yeah. Is there anything alive in there? Fish or anything? Big ones right there. Oh. There's a big one there. Cruising. Koi pond. The little one. So these are the garden plants. 
I was wondering about one that said 24 on it, but I don't see a number 24. But this is everything planted in the garden. We got this temple here. It says for members only, so I'm going to respect the sign and not go in. Another shrine. Let's see what we got over here. Here's another statue here. A woman and her baby, or mother and her baby. Give you guys a 360 of where I'm standing. This guy's here is pointing up to the heavens. He's got a <laughs> angle in his hand, which is interesting. Check these trees out. They're all grown into the pavement <clears throat> pretty cool so this is the main entrance to the museum here and right across the street is a high school so it's kind of cool but look at the main entrance very impressive with all the uh well, that brings that memory coming here when i was a kid So we're, um, I had to make reservations to get here and our time slot is coming up. Check out this, just randomly sitting here, Egyptian hippopotamus. Pretty cool. Hippo god, I guess. A small statue of the lion-headed goddess, Sekhmet. Today, the collection includes over 4,000 authentic ancient artifacts, plus a handful of models that help to set the context with some of the galleries. Every artifact that you see behind glass is ancient. So this is where they want us to start. This is the going down. As you can see, there's no one in here yet. There's some pottery there. This is a wooden box from a dynastic coffin from 3050 to 2663 before Common Era. And it says here they'd bury you in a fetal position in this. I will tell you, I'm not an Egyptian expert, so I'll do my best to describe this, but I'm not going to give you all the details. I just don't have time. I only have an hour in here. This is some kind of tablature, writing. Interesting. I was talking to the museum curator and he said the Egyptian period was 3,000 years long. So that's pretty amazing if you think about how long our society's been around. So there's a huge time differences between some of these artifacts. And a lot of this has to do with um, burial ceremonies. A lot of them would offer things up to the gods for a, a safe passage. 
to the afterlife. Pretty cool. What else we got here? As a mock up of what it would have been like back in the day. Looks like the dynasty period. Uh, more tablature of uh, tiles, ancient Egyptian writing. You know, you know, when I'm in here, it makes me think about what people are going to think of our civilization 5,000 years from now. There'll be a museum like this. And they'll be so far advanced, they'll think we're primitive just like the Egyptians. It's just too hard to read all these cards and describe everything, so I'm just going to talk about it. This is the time I have. I just can't go into total detail. So enjoy what I'm telling you, hopefully. Uh, looks like this is a, some kind of a painting here on the piece of stone, as you can see. And they got a box burial. This is cool. There's a it says a middle kingdom. And um just look at the uh, detail of this box considering how old it is it's crazy the middle kingdom 2066 before common era to 1650 before common era I had to ask what the E means on the end I didn't know the guy said it's common era it's similar to what we do with, like with before Christ Looks like it had some kind of repair on the end there. So, in a museum in the future, they'll have cell phones everywhere. This is a, a interesting one. It's called a, a funerary boat, and it's that boat is supposed to help you go to the afterlife. That's a mummified catfish. Bizarre. Not sure why you'd mummify a catfish. You got a little comb up there. And that necklace is pretty awesome. You can visualize a Egyptian goddess wearing that, huh? Pretty neat. There's a map of the ancient um, everything Mediterranean Sea, Black Sea, Cyprus, Alexandria. It's a lot of spread out, as you can imagine. There's a little painting here. People being mummified. And what do we got here? Wow. Look at this. This is a mummy in a sarcophagus or coffin. Pretty wild. 
And look at that, you can see his toenails. Wow. The detail on this. Amazing. Wow. Ah, here's a canoptic jar, and these they would put the internal organs that set for the heart in for the passage to afterlife. There's a mirror down there. It says mirror were um, reserved for high royalties, very special. Um, they And reflections were... Um, a big deal. People were kind of freaked out about reflections. Here's an ancient box of some kind. Storage box. Wow, look at this. Eighteenth Dynasty coffin. Can you see the detail on that? It's, it's amazing. If you think how old this stuff is, and to see the detail. This museum has over four thousand artifacts in it. Look at this one here. The inside was believed that when you have passed on, you can still see, your soul can see. So they paint the insides too to help your journey to um, the afterlife. That was the belief. It's pretty amazing now the detail in there. Do you think it's all hand painted? Everybody here is super friendly. A museum curator just came and checked on me, and he was super nice. And this is the first day they've been open since over a year you look at the detail on the bottom uh, the museum curator also said sometimes they put spells in the coffins now here's a bull head and this was also considered to be a, a a spokesperson for a god so they mummify that look at that mummified crocodiles that's crazy baby crocodiles have been mummified afterlife of animals and everybody knows that they really loved cats so there's a mummified cat there cat coffin and they got a goat I guess they bent his legs inward not sure about this bird but that's pretty wild looking I painted it gold mummified birds here I think the people that died if they had pets or something they would mummify them I guess they had pet birds back then. Who knows? Probably. Look at this one. This is amazing. Look at the detail there. It's weird when you're standing here. It's almost like you think you're on a movie set. You're like, this can't be real. It's real, though.
like I was telling you before, I used to come here when I was a little kid, and I, you know, it was this part was exciting. The little jewelry and pottery I didn't really care about, but I wanted to see the mummies. But this has the, one of the largest collections of Egyptian artifacts in the Western Hemisphere. Too bad I can't read Egyptian hieroglyph writing. Ah, here's a mummy. Mummy of an upper class Egyptian male, 1064 before Common Era. This guy is kind of creepy. Even though it's old, it's still. You can see his fingernails. His toes. It's definitely kind of bizarre looking at this thing that close. Look at his fingernails. In the head you can almost see what the person looks like when he's alive it's crazy the back of the head back of the skull I'll give you an overhead shot here too it's kind of definitely kind of eerie standing next to it there's another mummy. Some of them they don't open up. They x-ray them and they leave them in their current state. And they got everything hermetically sealed. Roman period Egyptian. This is my favorite part when I was a kid. This is a mock-up replica of an actual tomb. It's really cool in here. Check it out. I have definite childhood memories going in here. It reminds you now of like going on the Indiana Jones ride in Disneyland. But this has been here long before that. And they make it look like a real tomb. detail on the wall it's very unusual to be in this room when no one's in here um, because of COVID there they let people in but only a limited amount um, there's about 10 of us and we had an hour to walk around and then after that they didn't let another group in then they have these uh, replica paintings on the inside and hieroglyphs and then a mock-up tomb down below. Give you, give you an idea what it would be like back in the day. They even put damage to the walls in there. Details amazing. And it's dark in here intentionally. They just keep it kind of dark. So not much I can do about the lighting. But being in here alone is... Uh, pretty special I, when you're when you whenever I came here with my mom it was always crowded there'd be like you know 20 30 people in this room so yeah that's the tomb we'll walk back up I'm not sure the significance of um, this here but maybe it's like a guard. But pretty, pretty neat, huh? No doubt. I don't think the other museum goers knew about this or didn't realize you can walk back here. I'm not sure. You can see there's almost no one in here. See, if you saw that, you'd just think, oh... I'm not sure if I can go in there, but you definitely got to check it out. And we got some little f fabric here, or ornaments. A 
in the replica tomb. A little information on it. And some of the things here are not. Um, some of them are replicas. This is a mummy shroud riding all over it. Let's see what else we can find. Ah, here's a like a mock-up of what it would be like underground chambers, Egyptian tombs. It's amazing to think it's all cut out of rock. And this talks a little bit about the science, which what they would do is x-ray the uh, mummies and try to learn about them without disturbing them. They can learn a lot from the bones. And here's like a 3D of a head. The, the brain is still in there, which is, I think, unusual. I think the Egyptians used to pull the brains out through the nose. Pretty wild. There's more pottery here. Some of that stuff is made really well. I don't think I could make a bowl, even on a pottery wheel, that good. At least I tried in high school. There's another um, coffin. There's a little scarab beetle. A detail on the coffin. Yeah, it makes you wonder how long it took to um, paint all this. Intermediate period. This guy almost has like a smile. Pretty wild stuff. This one's got an x-ray of what's inside. And this one looks pretty special. Probably some kind of royalty or king. And look at these. Very cool. The detail is amazing. It makes you wonder if the people that the coffins are for, did they measure the people and make sure they fit? Probably. This is a mock-up, so it's not a real thing. I just remembered I only have an hour in here, so I got to kind of hustle. There's a lot of other rooms to look at, but this room is kind of overwhelming. <laughs> look at this one. It's all the wood paintings on the outside, the inside. This is a mummified baboon. Bizarre, huh? Jewelry. I'm going to start going a little faster because I only have 20 minutes left. I spent a lot of time in that first room. Another mummified cat. Those are cool. Some kind of trinket or ornament. How'd you like that for your office desk? More tiles. I guess they use uh, flowers and stuff for their dye colors. A cobra, huh? 
Cobra box. Old writing. And the statue. Various tools. Looks like little picks. Wow, that's cool. Look at that. And you just think of this stuff, it, it dates back, some of it, 5,000 years. 5,000 years. And you just think about how long we've been here, or our country, America. Not very long. I mean, it's crazy to think about how old this stuff is. Here's a little mock-up of a pyramid. More tiles. And the pieces. Carvings. More carvings. More carvings. More carvings came out of something. Look at that one there. Another one. A lot of carvings in this room, as you can see. In detail of that. That's like a headrest, I think, where you lay your, lay your head in a coffin. Some more smaller items. Not sure what that is. There's another uh, funerary boat. Those are supposed to help with the journey into the afterlife. And they would have coffins on them too. The fish. The eyeball. Wow, these are cool. The detail. Very cool. Trinkets. Ornaments. Another mummified kitty. Look at these cats. Seems like the cats back then were like Siamese cats. Some more ornaments. There's some really smaller objects. And jewelry. Sorry I'm going so fast. I just only have about 10 minutes left now. Look at those in the back, the little heads, tiny little heads. Some more collect collectibles. <laughs> Ancient collectibles. Here's some more canopic jars for the journey to the afterlife. And that looks like a falcon. There's another kitty cat. It's funny how they never they don't really well they do show dogs, but they don't make models of dogs. Well, not a lot compared to cats. As I said that there's a dog right there. There's a mummy in this one. Look how precisely he was wrapped. Wow, he's got perfect teeth. I 
X-ray, hands are crossed. Pretty amazing. There's some more pottery. Another ancient wooden box, another mummified goat. Musical instruments. Not sure what that is. Looks like some kind of bell. I'd like to hear that sound of that too bad they didn't have a sound button you could push uh, old reed instrument huh. didn't see any drums there uh, look at all these ancient tablet and color I guess they're parts of coffins probably and hands uh, amazing detail it really is a face a scarab beetle. I don't know if you guys see a Tomb Raider scene with the beetles attacking that guy. Look at this! All these mummies, miniatures. Huh, there's another baboon. And the head. It's a kitty cat. I was talking about dogs. There are some dogs, but they look like what I would call them Doberman Pinchers. Um, more falcons. Wow. It's overwhelming, this museum. There's so much to look at. Look at that. Hmm. That's kind of menacing looking. These are like... I think they're weapons. I'm not sure. It's a model of what a town or city would have looked like. Pretty neat. And another boat. That one doesn't look like the afterlife kind of boat. Wow, look at this. It's big. Great Sphinx Tablet, it's called. What do we got over here? Oh, there's a cross. More jewelry. Pottery. Paintings. This must be more modern. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. That kind of reminds you of a King Tut. And here we have the Egyptian rubber stamp collection. <laughs> and what is this? Obelisk. That's impressive. More of the rubber stamps. That's a joke. And law code. Huh. I wonder if that's like the law of the land. There's various tools. I'm going super fast because they just made an announcement. We got five minutes left. In the future, hopefully, I'll come back here and spend. A lot more time and detail because there's so much to see it's crazy it's a little mock-up room and what do we got here looks like more pieces of coffin fabric jewelry 
I'm powering through it now. Got four minutes left. Another mummy. Looks like a child. Here's some more canopic jars for the journey to the afterlife. Alligator. A crocodile. More cats. Cat head. Cat, cat. What else we got here? Fast, fast, fast. Another coffin. It's interesting how they have the ears kind of pointing out. So this building here is the planetarium building and I was talking to the guy in there, the curator, and he said before COVID they're renovating it, but now its um, future is undetermined what they're going to do with this building. There's another corner of the Rosicrucian Museum. So it's like almost a whole city block that it takes up. Property. Oh, that's cool. We've got this, uh, Tower or statue, I don't know what you call it. Obvious. Three quarter size replica of the original stood before the house of Sun, Sun Temple. Pretty awesome. Hey, they started up the fountain. It wasn't going, but now it's going. Kind of. Trickling. Needs a little more power. Here's more of the grounds. They have really good uh, signage everywhere in here. So you don't get lost. You can figure out where stuff is. Wow, look at this tree. That's a cool looking tree. And then we got this little fountain here. No one is wiser than Socrates or he knows that he knows nothing. Very interesting. Tell me you have ever been to Delphi. I don't know where that is. Know thyself. One more. Nothing too much. And they got another warning about hornets. But this is a cool tree. I don't see any hornets. It doesn't mean they're not here. Stay back, hornet nest. 
could be in the ground. But I, I will heed that warning. I don't feel like having an encounter of hornets today. Here's a sign talking about their hours. Keep in mind the planetarium is closed. It's another corner I haven't showed you. Every corner to this grounds and every possibility they have, they have some kind of hidden gem. And they got this little blue rock garden. With more of the bird gods. Don't know what they are. And benches just to sit peacefully. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the Egyptian Rosicrucian Museum in San Jose. That was pretty awesome. Although I forgot that I only had an hour in there. Um, they gave me a ticket to come back in July when they're, they anticipate being fully open and not having to make reservations. So. This is video will be just a teaser and I'll come back and do a more thorough one later. But pretty amazing to look back in time and how the Egyptians lived and everything. So again, if you like the videos I'm putting out, subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell notifications and you'll be notified when I put out more videos. Thanks for coming along on my journey today and I'll see you next time.